Podcast. Welcome to Microcasters. Uh, Anna is uh, brought the figure over this week because I don't have it yet. Um, so we are doing Siege Spinister. Um, and uh, so I, I had canceled my order through Pulse, which was a mistake apparently because now I don't have it. So... Um, but, uh, I, so I went, I went hunting over the weekend to try to find it, went to like seven Walmarts, couldn't find it. So, so nevertheless, Anna came over to, uh, you know, show the figure to me so that I could, uh, check it out myself for the review. And so, then we became pots. And then apparently, and then, and then apparently she managed to adorn it with micro masters. So what? I guess that's gross. a thing. So, I guess it's probably a good thing that um, that Anna doesn't show up every week, or like we have all kinds of stuff like this going on. Cause, so he's just got acne. He's a growing boy. Okay, someone pick it up and show it to me. Oh. Oh, sorry, Christian. I forget that you don't see the. Wow. You know what? I take it back. I did not want to see that. <laughs> yeah. This is what MicroMasters are for. No, it's not. Incorrect. Sorry, we had a lot of See, fun I last week, so I'm just going to keep like having fun. Person. I think Target Masters looks a lot better, Christian. Let me pry off his gross. Don't worry, we'll be talking about these Target Masters later. At least there, I he's all better now. <laughs> things to say. There so do we start by talking about helicopter mode? He has one. Yeah, he's a cool helicopter, I think. <laughs> yeah, I honestly had never seen him until just now. And he looks cool. So I actually got this figure today, thing. threw it in my car, and then went to work. That's sad. It's okay. I guess work is good, though. I played with his. Now. That's what counts. I played with his arms and legs a little. I mean, I'm I'm disappointed that you you know didn't spend all your time playing you know messing with your toy. Yes, yeah, still didn't get all my grading done. So, yeah, I I told you all you need to do is just give all of your students A's. They'll be happy, and then it'll be fine. Take a lot less time. Yeah, they'll give you great reviews. Yeah. And no one would learn. Win and I win. Live with myself. Oh. Pew pew. So, all right. So, what is the one thing I don't like about helicopter mode? Uh, the fact that he has a canopy on his butt. Correct. I hate it so much. Normally, so I'm not a huge sticker for faux parts. I'm, I'm just not that guy. You know, in most cases, if you need it to make it work, go for it. In this case, it's awful. I don't know why this is, you know, the the hill where I'm going to die, but man, that extra canopy underneath looks horrible. Okay, it's so, a really weird choice. So, so I have a question though. I mean, obviously this this is not like a real helicopter, right? Like because it's, it's pink and blue and and whatever, right? So, like can't can't this just be like a gunner seat since it's not like an actual like accurate helicopter like that's what I pretend it is, and I'm fine with it. An upside down really space like gunner helicopter. Yeah, yeah, because like, don't you want a gunner seat like for underneath the helicopter to like try to shoot people? No. Mm. <laughs> no. Is there a spot <laughs> for glad, a I'm glad you know. target master? Okay, yeah, there was a spot for like a uh, headmaster or something. That oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure you can shove a headmaster in there. Fun to see if you put a target master on there, so he has a gun that. emplacement. Here, let me grab a headmaster. Can you shove one in here some somehow? Probably. You need me to do it. Let me see. I like have them all connected together. Salt. So, the the figure is pretty solid once you get it all together. So of course. Very solid. So here's how I feel about the helicopter. It doesn't look like a helicopter, but it's fine. It's fine. It's a fun transformation. Oops. It's Did I just break though. your figure? I disagree. Uh, no. So you disagree I did not like he transforming just broke my figure. His, uh, he just broke my figure. No, I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure I can. You know, it's, it's one of those. It's a Hasbro figure. <laughs> Hasbro figures don't break. 
I just grabbed it out of my bag of headmasters. The brown fella. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it's cool. Like, I, I, I like the. I don't know. I feel like of all of, all of these like pseudo figures, like none of them like match earth vehicles or whatever like this is gonna be the hill that you die on that you're like well like i'm totally fine with sound waves like all no, mode, no, no, no. But... okay first off i'm not fine with sound waves alt mode <laughs> check it off more importantly i think it's weird because sinister is one that like you couldn't make a space helicopter because a helicopter is completely made on the concept of having a rotor that goes whoosh, 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 whoosh. it makes it fly Right. Well, Springer's a pretty good space helicopter. Yeah. I guess that's what he's always done. I mean, Cybertron has gravity, right? Yeah. I guess. Do they have atmosphere, though? That's the question. I guess I mean, they need I mean, rotors. I don't, I don't need it to be, like, super accurate, but the fact that it's identical to a real canopy really bothers. No, I agree. I think it's weird to have that underneath. Like, I guess his legs look pretty neat in robot mode. <laughs> that wasn't a sacrifice that I would have made. That's not a sacrifice that I needed made. He can have uneven legs. I'm good with that. So so what you're saying is, is you'd rather have a figure like the, the Fans Project uh, Browning that was the... Um, what, um, I don't know what that is. Sorry. What's the, the, the headmaster? The project, um, highbrow. Highbrow, yeah. Okay. So he has unleaded legs. So would you rather have something like that? I, yeah, I just said because everybody cool is hates that figure because it has unleaded legs. I think everybody well, hates that figure because it's a fans project headmaster. What? <laughs> um, they have some good headmasters. I love Not their headmasters. They're my favorite. But we're talking about the Spencer legs today. do look good. I don't think the legs look, you know, <coughs> redeeming the faux parts good. It's, I don't know, it's a strange choice, but I kind of am glad they made it, because it's weird. I mean, and the, hand, the hands are just hanging out in the back, too. Okay, so, so let's so. think about two alternatives here. One alternative. Basically, it's exactly the same, but it doesn't have windows. So it's the same shape. It's just a solid blue leggy. That's one option. Other option is that somehow the second canopy goes up top. So he has like double canopies. Both of those are better. Okay. Fair. Um, so Christian, just to let you know, Rob is saying, well, actually, uh, Fans Project Headmasters were actually praised for their first several releases. So it was just their later several ones. releases 10 years ago, and then we got Titans Return? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. pretty, pretty much. I honestly think that those Headmasters are better than the Titans Returns figures by a long shot. Okay. I don't even think it's close. Yeah, so Ron is saying that he had pre-ordered his from Amazon, and I guess um, Amazon and a lot of other retailers are saying it's not going to be until the end of December. Um, I actually, like, I ended up ordering it from Walmart, and um, it said that it was going to be shipped online on, like, December 1st, but then it's it still has not been shipped, so who knows when that... Where did you get yours from, Christian? Also Pulse? Pulse. Okay. Pulse from the uh, Black Friday sale. I mean, I think it's cool. Like, I think they like they have the extra little landing gear part. Um, I mean, I think for a deluxe figure, this is very. I thought there's a lot of parts. Looked okay. Like, it's a cool, it's a cool transformation. Is your back assembly with the uh, tail like really scary tight? I don't think so. The which part? So you, you pull the back part off, and then you have the tail part. Like, is yours, like, ridiculously tight and you can't get it out? No. Um, no. Seems like it. Okay. Cool. Seems, a, mine is, seems fine. Mine is very scary. That was terrifying. There you go. 
But yeah, I mean, I think that this is a really neat, interesting transformation. I think it's like one, like for a deluxe figure, it's it's somewhat of a, I mean, it's a pretty involved transformation for a deluxe figure. It looks like it. I still haven't transformed it. It's my figure. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one that I'm taking over here. I, I do think the way that it's built, uh, it seems like it's a lot, a lot of siege figures seem this way too. It seems like it's built around a key transforming concept. Like you could add different pieces and you know, arms and legs and cockpits and whatever and make it into something else while still keeping mm-hmm. the same transformation scheme. And I think that is going to be interesting going forward. Yeah, because hopefully we don't just get eight different versions of the same helicopter again. And we get some slightly different things out of them. Yeah. Another good example for this you know, transforming concept thing is Ape Face for me. Because I can definitely, we talk about this on the show when we did Ape Face, but it really seems like to me you just flip them around and you get Snapdragon. I think it's possible. There you go. Yeah, I don't know who I think this guy would get turned into. You know, Titans Return, Scourge, Highbrow, and Windblade. <clears throat> yeah, so cool the transformation looked pretty easy when Lucas snatched my figure and transformed it again. Well, it looks easy when I'm doing it, but... Uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> see, I was just wow. going to make a joke about how you were trying to do the Transformer version of manslating, like manforming. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yes, that's right. Because he's like, oh, Anna, I'll do it for you. <laughs> well, I, I seem to remember that you never liked to actually transform figures on camera, so. Who would? Um, so Randall wants a Rotostorm out of Spinister, and, and I do too. Um, I do too. Different legs, so, but yes. Yeah, yeah. So Which would then help right me get now. Machine Wars Sandstorm. I would go with that. Yeah, I would go with all and the Machine Wars and all that. Hopefully Power Dive. And then everyone would complain about how many exclusives that we're getting. Because I know everyone that was already... complains about everything all the time. Give me all the exclusives, please. <laughs> that is, that this is was the appropriate true. number of exclusives, and I loved all of them. Yes. It's fine. We, we can keep doing that. Like I'm not going to buy as many this time. time. Terry's better now. There you go. So, but yeah, no, I mean, so so here's my question. So, so overall, Christian, how would you rank yeah. Spinister compared to like the other deluxes? Like, where where is it in your rank? Because I know a lot of people are saying he's like their favorite deluxe. Where I think is my he favorite deluxe place? is Hotshot, but that's because I'm, you know, biased. The Hotshot, mm. so pretty much the same. Not for the mold, though, just because it's Hotshot, and it's a good right. mold, and, you know, it's a good, that good, mold might paint, be good-looking figure. That mold might be my favorite Siege, I don't know. I really like it. I don't know. I really like the side side mold. I think that that's probably one too. of my one of my favorite of of the deluxes. But and I like yeah the that hound hot the reflector. I like yeah yeah. There's a lot of good deluxes like in this in this line. I think so. Yeah, Spinister is definitely you know one of the, the tippy tops for me. I think I, you know I think once I transform a couple times, his tightness issue with the uh, tail assembly will be better. Spinister is definitely, uh, I'm just going to say it, I think he's my favorite Decepticon mold made for a Decepticon. Is so his... Siege or ever or? No, for Siege, not ever. Hmm. But I think I, I definitely like him better than Megatron, definitely like him better than Soundwave. Definitely like him better than Starscream. Shockwave is competitive. I don't, I don't think I like him better than Ape Face. I like him better than Ape Face because like of that color. I like him better than Ape Face. I don't know, like... You guys all liked, didn't like Ape Face. Yeah. I still like the color. If they changed that color after, like, turquoise I mean, this was a fun... 
uh, this one was a fun deluxe. That is true. The flywheels. Flywheels was fun. I like that one, the simplicity of it. I think Shockwave, I don't know, I still like... I really like the Shockwave mold. Like, I think that I that's... Too. That's my phone. But, yeah. The, the, okay, so, here Size. we go. Here, here is a leader class figure next to the deluxe. Oh, boy. I've not actually <laughs> we, seen that yet. We can get into Those that, things. huh? Oh, oh, are you not well, seeing this, I, Christian? No. Can I go on a rant about weapons before we get into that? Yeah, sure. I'm just okay. going to hold them up, though, I'm so rant. you can see them. Oof. All right, so this is one of Spencer's guns. This is the one that's based on Singe. Uh -huh. Here's actual Singe. You might think, with these tabby-looking things on the side there, they would be replaceable, because they're about the same size, about the same width. But they're mm -hmm. not. <laughs> Why? Why are they not? It's so close. Just add two little nubby bits and go boom. Now you replace them with accurate ones. And now it's great. Yay. Wait, you're complaining so that they remolded the guns? No, no, no. Because then they could tab it onto them in different yeah. places. To get more These are the only goals. ones in Siege that look like this, besides the ones that are on the Battle Masters. And if I can just go. You know, boop, boop, ta-da, look, it's Singe that looks like Singe from G1. But nope, it doesn't actually fit. It's so close. They're the same size. There's no reason to have not done that. And they didn't do it. It makes me mad. The end. Bye, Christian. Hey, hey man, they need that uh, that G1 upgrade or the, the Siege upgrade market, right? Like all, all the upgrade parts that everybody's making. So. It makes me upset. Yeah. It's so close. I mean, when I saw them in package, I was like, oh, man, they're the right size. And I took them out, and I was like, oh, man, they're exactly the same size. And then I tried it and was disappointed. His ankles weren't tilted right. <clears throat> but, yeah, I think, um, you know, Ron brought up in the chat um, that he feels unique compared to the other deluxes. And I think that that is one thing um, – you know, that I'm pretty excited about at this point in siege where we've been getting so many repaints at this point with the exclusives and all that, like to actually get a unique mold, um, is, is pretty cool. So, and, and I don't know, I'm, I'm curious if this mold in general was really meant for Earthrise and they just tacked it onto siege or if it was meant for siege. Cause I know, um, so I think the Astro train, right. is supposed to come out in both. Yeah. Astro train smackdown are coming out in both. So I I'm curious if they originally were just going to be like, oh, is this going to be an Earthrise? Or they're just like, oh, let's st stick it at the end of Siege. Just because it seems interesting that we're getting, you know, a unique figure like this. Like I think it point. just goes to show you where they are in development cycles now. I mean, we got the whole line of Siege, all these figures, all of the exclusives, uh, a Titan and a new class commander out in one year, 12 months. Yeah. And that's it. It's done. I think that's really incredible, but they can't just you know rest on their laurels. I mean, they've probably been playing Earthrise since Siege began, or even longer. Probably. So I think, you know, when they're in a trilogy cycle like this, and even more so than we saw in Combiner Wars and Titans Return and Power of the Prime, that these lines are going to be more interconnected, you know, than before. There is this kind of gray area between the two. But then it's also weird too because now we're getting like uh, Starscream is going to be a you know a new figure in Earthrise that was before, and you're getting a zillion Optimus Primes. But I mean, I guess there's nothing new about that because you know we're always going to get a million Optimus Primes. Yeah, you know, if we can get a million Optimus Primes, and that gives us the opportunity to also get Power Dashers uh, or Reflector, I'm I'm for it every time. Yeah. And bases. You want the bases. Yeah, that's gonna be that's, that's gonna, gonna be awesome. Are you excited I've already for them? Uh, three sound barriers. I need more ramps, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope they do them in like a ton of colors. Like, you know, the one that is coming out first is blue, but you know they do it yellow. Look, that's Ironworks sound barrier. Okay, got it. You know, the the burgundy one goes with Airwave. Oh, you know, that's kind of a like fun that. idea. That it would be amazing if they just that's all they did was make ramps or whatever, right? And they just sat there and pegged warm at Target for like a year because, don't like, what I'll buy them all, Bring them to me. you know, yeah, 
ramp. So master. just to, to me to the ramp. To live on my life as the articulation person, I want to say that Spinister pretty much has every point of articulation I would want. He has ankle tilt. He has wrist rotation. His arms and legs both move well. I mean, I guess like the only thing is his ankles can't move side to side, but that's like. I you don't see that in deluxes unless they have alternative ankles. So really, he's not. He has waist. Yeah, I mean, his head moves well. There's really nothing missing. And and that's the thing too for me that I've really loved this line. Um, and even compared to like uh, Legends class figure, or I'm sorry, third party Legends figures, because like this has all the articulation that I want, and really this is the size that I want. Like I. I just like this particular, like that chug, this chug size, I think is kind of the perfect size for Transformers, where it's like, you know, Masterpiece, like some of them can be a little bit too big, but this, I just think it's it's fun to, to mess with and play with. And, and the fact that they actually, I mean, how much articulation this thing has in it is, it, it's incredible. Like I never really thought good. we would get to this point. Like with mainline figures. Yeah, he's pretty much like action figure flexible. Mm hmm. Like nice action figure. <coughs> yeah. Which is really cool. I mean, so like we were talking about our favorites of deluxes from the line, which I guess it's time to make that decision because the line's over. Um, you got one more. One more deluxe? Yeah. Well, it's a remote. <laughs> Oh, then who cares? Doesn't count. For repaint. He's coming tomorrow. Oh, Crosshairs? Yeah. Is that his name? I always forget. That's it. Okay. Anyway, as I was going to say, I think that there are multiple molds, all of the model bots, that have better alt modes. I think Prowl's alt mode looks better. Hound's alt mode looks better. Um, side to salt mode looks better. So that, <clears throat> since I also like the robot modes, I kind of think they're better to me. But, robot mode alone, I think he's my favorite. <clears throat> I mean, he has all the articulation, he's half pink, and he has a face that just looks like a depressed version of the strutter. That makes me happy. His face looks a lot like IDW, but it's not quite IDW. I, I think so. it's a good bridge between. It, it's it'll be case. new IDW. I'm sure that they'll they'll throw him in the new comic, and then that way yeah. you can say he's IDW paint, accurate. His faceplate paint and his eye paint too are just really good. Mm -hmm. like that's some good paint. It's a really expressionate face for a faceplate face. Like, he looks yeah. straight up depressed to me. Well, and and the thing is, is, like, like what I like is, is, like, if you look at the paint, there's this little spot on his chest that they painted, that little extra, there's, like, a little yellow, right? And, like, they didn't have to do that. And, and so, like, that's what I think is cool. And, like, I actually think, so that he does have battle damage on it, but I think that the battle damage yeah. actually kind of works. Yeah. It's a little more subtle on him. Yeah, his thighs have it, but they're just kind of silver stripes. Yeah, yeah. Like I actually think it looks it looks pretty neat, but That's um. Fun. So, but yeah, I know you know Randall brought up a good point about Siege. Like it's like every figure has been, or I'm sorry, Ron. Um, every figure in the line has been pretty solid. Like yeah. I mean, there's been ones where you're like, oh, this, like this isn't great, but like there's no like horrible ones. Like there's no there's Not none that I'm just like this is a complete you know, garbage figure, like Power of the Prime Starscream. So. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. I, I would agree. I mean, there's quite a few of them that, like, I got them and now I wish I hadn't. But that's me. I'm pretty picky. But the thing, the thing I think that they did with the character selections, I think overall is pretty good, too, because they picked, like, the A-list guys, 
and then they mix it in with like weird stuff that like we've never gotten before. So it's like one of those things, and, and a lot of them are better versions than past versions. So for the people that are complaining and saying, oh, well, I already have a Prowl, or I already have like, you know, whatever, a lot of the figures were are better just because they have more articulation and, and whatever than the older figures. So it's like you're going to go ahead and, and replace them. Um, and they're like top characters that you're willing to replace. Or you get stuff like Spinister where you're like, you know, I, like I just, I just love that they're doing a Spinister because like this is the kind of stuff where it's like I'm not going to buy a Masterpiece Spinister myself. Right. Like, whereas like I love that I'm getting a good, you know, figure of that too. So like that's why I love too like Top Spin and Twin Twist are like great ones too where it's like you got the, the Hasbro ones and you're like I don't need to ever replace these because they're like good enough but they're, you know, like I'm not... I probably didn't necessarily need masterpiece versions of those, but now, just to be fair, the um, the Combiner Wars style one that was made up the blade mold that was Collectors Club. Yeah, it was. Okay, if I had that one, I would not have bought this because I like Spinister's not a major character for me. He's not someone that I have like a long relationship oh, with. The... And I really do think these two figures are equally pretty. I honestly think the Collector's Club is a little prettier. Just I like the pink better. It's almost like a salmon. Yeah. Yeah, that one's really good. Yeah, it's really I'm good. Cool so I think both. if I owned it, I wouldn't need to own this one. I keep my combiners in combined form. So it you know, Spinister just stays, you know, combined with Thunder Mayhem, and then I get this one to be my, like, standalone dude. So, the, if you notice mine, uh, my Instantly. copy of the, the club or whatever is, uh, it accidentally came with, uh, two left legs, um, and so I actually got this off of somebody at, um, TFCon that was selling it super cheap because, like, the you know botcon guys could not help them out. Yeah, he can't be the, a the helicopter. The club guys could not help them out, so he cannot be a helicopter. See? Um, so but I got him cheap enough. So because at the time I was like, well, when am I ever going to get another spinister? So oh, this face is definitely worse than the new one, though. Yeah, it's not a it's not a new face. It's a repaint of I think Alf Bravo. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, Rob. If if you want, uh, the, if anyone wants my spinister with like two two left legs, you're you're welcome. J just hit me up. He's great. He looked good until Terrible I noticed two left legs. Guy. Well, yeah, not Botcon, whatever, like Collectors Club. Yeah, so I would say that probably this one is better. Oh, but 100%. like I said, I wouldn't have put in the effort of getting a new one if I already had this. So I don't think I'll ever put in the effort into replacing this one if a better one comes. I might consider replacing this one if they did one that was really accurate to the comic. Okay. So like if so MMC did one no. and it was accurate? Nope. <laughs> nope. Because of price. Oh, okay. Because an NMC Acura will be, you know, $130. And that's not what I want to spend on this character. Right. Yeah, agreed. So, barring an entire Hasbro line of IDW Acura figures, this is going to be my Spinister Forever, and he is fantastic. I like him a lot. I like that we got Singe and Hair Splitter to go with him. They're pretty in pink. Definitely go get him. And don't yeah. throw him on the ground. Yep. No, I, I would say that it's definitely one of the better deluxes. And um, I mean, you can see how popular he's been because I think he's been sold out at a couple different places. So, yeah. Um, I know Amazon sold out of all their pre orders. I think uh, Hasbro um, sold out um, on polls. So, I, I think that he's definitely going to be the star of, of the wave or whatever. So, but yeah, de definitely a cool figure. I would definitely highly recommend him. So. I would also recommend him. Yeah. This last wave really killed it. I mean, Spinister, Crosshairs looks to be a good repaint. Ape Face is a great new figure. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> Rung, the, uh, the Battle Squad, the new tapes, you know, just they really killed it with this last wave. Normally they kind of just kind of you know let it 
peter out and then go to the next line, but this one, they really brought it. That is a good point. A lot of the last waves are kind of like, eh, let's just finish this damn thing. But this one, yeah, still feels like it figures. Well, and, and the fact that, like, this wasn't even originally an announced wave. Like, they right. just, like, tacked this on, like, a wave five, which I think is showing, like, exactly how popular... <laughs> Um, you know, the, the figures have been, I think, I think that the line, it's the, the siege in general has, I'm betting has sold, uh, better than what they were expecting. Maybe. So. It's also important to point out that this is like the way with the most Decepticons. <laughs> Which is cool to see. Yes. Yeah, because we weren't really getting a lot of Decepticons. Well, most of the Decepticons were like hitting the Voyager uh, scale. Yep. So, not a lot of the deluxes. So. <laughs> and this one is as big as a Voyager, yeah. but luckily he was packaged as a deluxe. So <laughs> save $10. Yeah. Thanks, Crosshairs, for evening out the wave. You know, it, it's funny, though, too, where, you know, everybody... No one is complaining that this figure is so tall, right? Other than the fact that they're just sticking him with, you know, the these guys. Um, but... So, yeah, so no one's going to be like, oh, no, that's too tall. But, like, they're definitely going to say, like, oh, this guy's too short. Um, he has one scrawny duder. So, but, yeah, I mean, it's 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 scrawny and all that, but yeah, I, I think it's clean. cool. Like, it I'm, nice. I don't know. I, I enjoy what, what Hasbro's been when doing. Um, I'm, I'm fine with, you know, paying the extra cost or whatever in, in some cases. Um, I think so. they've probably gotten enough good feedback on this group of leaders to maybe adjust what they're doing for now and that height is kind of important so maybe they'll uh they'll switch it up a little bit and come on board yeah it'll be interesting to see i mean i, I don't think we're gonna probably end up seeing anything until later on um you know if they do do that because like i think i guess they haven't announced the next leader after astrotrain but optimus. right well optimus right but i just to me, it kind of feels like, and this may have always been the case, but we kind of just don't need leaders. Yeah. Like, because I don't Unless actually mind. Bases. Yeah, if they're bases, that would be cool. I don't actually mind the <clears throat> any of the characters that have been portrayed as leaders being smaller. Like, Optimus being the size of a Voyager is totally mm. fine with me. He's never felt like a huge guy to me. Um, Shockwave never felt huge to me. Ultra Magnus needed to be bigger, and he's kind of bigger. Well, I mean, I think part of it is is just the way they've always done it with their case assortments and everything, too. Like, honestly, they'd probably be just off as well as, like, if they just had more Voyagers, but, like, they want to have another sticker on a shelf, right. another price point on the, on the shelf um, to give to consumers, so... Um, you know, it's just kind of the way American retail works. I, I don't think necessarily that Japan, you know, that you'd be necessarily seeing it like that. I think Prime with a trailer will feel like a decent $50 set. Yeah. I just think true. that things like the Shockwave armor, other than if you're going to make Shocklock, <clears throat> um, just aren't... There isn't a lot to do with them that's fun. I mean, I think the... Um... Uh, the Galaxy Prime and the Ultra Magnus both, yes. I think, felt like... I mean, they were smaller, uh, but I, I think that they felt like that they were leaders a little more. I, uh, I think Galaxy but, Prime more than Magnus for me, but that's probably because he's got those big, chunky cannons. I didn't mind their sides. I just didn't like how they looked. The sides didn't bother me one bit. Um, Ron had mentioned about the DNA kit for Ultra Magnus. You put that on yours, didn't you? It's not the DNA kit, though. Mine's, like, Shockwave's lab or something. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I, I, I know there's a couple... though. It's okay. There's a couple different kits that are like that, where they have, like, leg extenders for Ultra Magnus, and then a couple little pieces to kind of fill in some of the empty spots. Yeah, mine makes the upper legs longer. And it, it, it looks okay. So, I don't know. From I don't a distance, mind. he looks way better. Up close, he looks kind of weird. All right, I so I guess we're doing one for Astro Trade. 
Uh, we're gonna do one with faster train, I'm assuming, right? Because right. when are you we getting? We won't think your... about a siege just yet. It should be New Year's apparently. Okay, so. We'll do one for crosshairs too, right? <laughs> I figured you you wouldn't let us do crosshairs. Oh well. It's a repaint. Is there another figure we can throw in the mold? So. I got his target master, so now I have to get him. Oh, here we go. We never we never did uh. This figure, Christian. Wait, is that crap factor? Huh? This is Impactor. So we didn't do this is this is the retail version of Impactor. See But we did we good did, factor. We did the special version edition of Impactor, right? So this is a completely it. different figure, right? Is it though? <laughs> did we ever actually have um well painted Mirage on the show? No. Yeah, I thought we did. Did we not? Because that one I think would be worth it just so people can see it. Because he looks so oh, much better. Oh, so better. good. So much. So, so yeah, the Mirage is awesome. But Musical. next week, if you guys let me, I should have Flame Commander. Nice. EMFC Rodimus. Oh, I, I actually think that figure looks really cool. Like it's gonna be I really want to check neat. that figure out. So the legend he looks one, like right? a yeah, tiny and peep looks like masterpiece. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it looks it looks like a really cool figure. So he gets Target Master, but I actually think his Target Master is pretty big, so it's not gonna be like the smallest Target Master ever. It probably will be. That's good. We like Firebolt. Yeah, it, he looks good too. Like he doesn't have um, these ones. These elbows. ones. <laughs> he doesn't have elbows. I, I like it. For any of our audio listeners or whatever, he doesn't have these <laughs> ones. Like what the hell are you talking about? But he has knees so. and shoulders. Yeah, I, MMC Rodimus like is shoulders. awesome. It's one of my favorite figures. So, anyway, like it's not like, not that that has anything to do with. The Mech Fan Stories one, so. Um, so, check us out tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to do an Ouch My Wallet uh, with Rob. So, I'm not sure who all is going to be on. Not um, me. But, uh, yeah. We we may potentially have a special one. It just depends on if things line up. Um, otherwise, we may just have a regular Ouch My Wallet. Um, and then... Uh, also, cut the tape this week. Uh, should be fun. Uh, it's uh, part one of Rick opening a thousand sweeps. Or wait, just a hundred. I don't know. I can't remember how many he has. I think it's like 167 or something. Yeah, so it's part one. So <laughs> make sure and check that out. You'll want to watch somebody open up like 30 figures or something. So Like it's unique. Like seriously. Who else is going to give you a COD tip like that? Other than TFL, <laughs> <laughs> we got you covered. If you want to watch, you know, some uh, some guy do the same thing right. 167 it's, it's, times. It's fantastic. So, anyway, um, I did speed it up. So we we did. Uh, I actually had to get out and, and do some real editing in that one. So. Um, to because you know obviously no one is gonna want to watch forty minutes of Rick opening <laughs> scourges, um, but uh, uh, anyway so and then we're also gonna have a live TFLP on Sunday so uh, you know check us out then um, and then next week we're gonna have our holiday episode for TFLP as well mm -hmm. um, so and then also if uh, if you like what we do. Um, you know, we are on Patreon, TFL, TFL, yeah, patreon.com slash TFLP. Um, so we, we have tiers as low as a dollar on the way up. Um, so, you know, whatever, whatever tier uh, that you want to support at, but it's mainly for the server cost for the podcast and for um, all that is really for the website is, is what we spend the money on. So, but anyway. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, appreciate it. And we will see you next week. Bye. Night.